everyone, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be your weekly reading for November 9th through November 15th. Um, I am, I had just finished my weekly deck challenge with the Enchanted Map Oracle deck, and I, I loved it. It's an amazing deck, and I really got to know it a little bit more and was able to kind of use the clues on the card to really get my intuition going. So when someone asks for this reading, I'll be able to, um, to to help them a little bit more and, and be able to really draw from the cards. This week I am going to be working with the Isis Oracle um, by Alana Fairchild with artwork by Jimmy Manton. And um, I just posted a review of this deck so you can go check that out um, if you're looking to see more about this deck. Um, I actually already drew the three cards I shuffled and, and asked for a direction, but um, this deck, I can already tell you, is going to be one of my all-time favorites. Um, there is a meditation CD that is sold separately from the deck, but it's an isis centered meditation by the author of um, this deck, Alana Fairchild, that I just ordered today, so I'm really excited to, to get to... Um, experience that deeper level of connection with Isis. Um, I, it's just, I think it'll be amazing. So, like I said, I've already drawn the cards um, because I wanted to take some time to get to know the cards and kind of see um, some of the mythology behind the cards. And one thing that I really love, and like I said this in the um, in the review of this, or the reveal, rather, of this deck, is that in the guidebook, she gives you incantations for each card. So they're kind of like affirmations. Um, she also gives you rituals for each card in the deck. So, it's very, very in-depth. This is a very in-depth deck, and it's not a deck to be approached lightly. It's not a deck to be approached. I'm just going to try this out. Um, it's a deck that you really need to pray and consider before you buy it, because it is a journey. You do start a journey if you feel called to work with this deck. And um, the word initiate is used a lot throughout the guidebook. And it, the author said that it means you know, you've been called by Isis herself. So I'm very, very excited about this. So without further ado, I will get into the cards. For the beginning of the week, we have the Spirit of Isis. This is the Monday, Tuesday card. And the bottom of the card says Triumph of the Goddess. So what this card means is that there's a time for everything. There's a time to give up. There's a time to um, keep going. This card is saying, look, it's not time to give up yet. You know, your persistence in the things that you want, your faith and persistence, rather, is going to produce something in your life. You know, to keep pushing, keep pushing, and you will, you will experience what you want to experience. And ask for the help of Isis, because she... While she's very, she's a very stern mother figure, and a very stern goddess figure. She's a very loving goddess figure, and I feel like people look at her more as through the eyes of um, the vengeful goddess. And you know that definitely is a side of her. That definitely is a side of Isis. She is very um, fierce and passionate, and you know she's very. Um, the word I'm looking for is, she's just like a fireball. And, um, but she has a really great heart and she loves people, but you don't want to make her mad. Um, ask for her help with this, um, with whatever you're wanting to manifest in your life. And because it's going to work, it's going to come to you. And that's where we come into the second card, the abundance of Saltus. And this says stellar blessings from the celestial goddess of abundance. So, abundance is coming your way. Abundance in all forms. Um, abundance not just in money or prosperity, but abundance in the things that um, that really matter. Love, relationships, friendships, uh, family life, work relationships. You know, the middle of the week is going to be a time when all that stuff really comes together and heals itself because it's... Those are the most important things in life. You know, you can have all the money in the world but be really, really lonely. And that's what 
this card is saying that you're going to experience the things that really matter. And along with, you know, material things and, and things that'll um, help your prosperity. So it's going to be a really good, it's going to be a really good week so far. As long as you just keep the faith and keep persisting and keep up with your visual, visual visualizations and affirmations, it's going to work. It's going to be okay. And they are working. So don't ever doubt that they're not because I promise you they are. So we have a really interesting card for the, I love the backs of these cards, aren't they beautiful? We have a um, different kind of card, I'll say, for the end of the week. One that um, I couldn't really fit into the reading, but it's kind of coming back to me, or not coming back, but it's coming to me now. It's the Pyramid of Light card, and it says, step your vibrations deeper into love. And I was just like, what is this card? And I actually, when I looked at when I these cards, I went to the guidebook and I kind of looked at their incantations and the rituals for these cards and they're all beautiful. But this card's about psychic protection. Because you can see the Eye of Horus right there. Which is protection. This card is saying that the, you're going to be getting the things that you want. But to be careful... Not to lose sight of, or not to lose sight of, but be careful not to neglect your duties to your psychic self, to your higher self. Because we have a lot of responsibilities when it comes to maintaining our higher selves and, you know, our, our chakras and especially the crown and third eye chakra um, when it comes to psychic abilities. So definitely, definitely, definitely... Um, don't lose focus because the middle of the week is going to be fantastic. And you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. But you cannot lose focus about protecting yourself psychically. This means if you're around people that have bad attitudes, shield your energy. I have to do it all the time. Shield your energy. Because you don't want their energy latching on to to you. Because that brings you, brings you down. You don't want to be brought down. You don't want to be brought down at all. Definitely surround yourself in the white light um, as Archangel Michael to shield and protect you because it's something that you really need to do right now. And I think what this card is really saying is, you know, we lose focus so much on the, the spiritual aspect of things, you know, because we're so busy every day, you know, we're, we're hustling and bustling and there's things that we need to do and we don't have time to do it and it's, there's not enough hours in the day. This card is saying, in all this craziness and all the madness, take time. Meditate. Do whatever you need to do to take care of your higher self and your psychic self. Because that's where our guidance comes from. That's where our very clear perception comes from. Because without the help of heaven, we cannot see situations clearly. Because if we try to do it by ourselves, our ego will step in. And it's kind of just like having a really sunny day and then black clouds coming in and making everything really dark. It alters your perception. You know, when it's clear outside, you can see everything. But when it's really dark outside, you can't see a lot of the things that are in your path. And this, this card is saying that there are going to be things spiritually and physically. Um, or not really physically, but um, spiritually as well as, you know things in your life, just like situations that are not, that are outside of the spiritual realm that are going to be in your life. And you have to have balance with your higher self and with your conscious self in order to be able to receive the guidance and the clear perception you need to be able to navigate around those obstacles. So it's definitely something that needs to be taken care of. Um, and that's a, that's a reminder for me too, because I've I've been really busy lately, and it's been it's been hard to, to keep the spiritual practices um, as disciplined as I should, and it's like that for everybody. You know, I'm gonna admit it too. You know, it doesn't matter how many you know likes I have on Facebook or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm still just a person, and I forget to do things. I forget to write in my journal. I forget to, you know, I forget to pray sometimes because there's so much going on. You know, and it's something that we're all human, and we all have to work on. You know, it's not something that you know, one person has and one person doesn't. It's something that one person has worked on and gotten to that place where 
it's become such a part of their life that they can't do without it. That's where we all need to get to, where praying for help becomes your very first thing you do, where praying for help becomes just like the most obvious thing to do. You know, instead of freaking out, you know, about everything that needs to be done, take a moment and say, Dear God, angels, Holy Spirit, you know, Isis, um, my Archangel Michael, you know, Mother Mary, please help me with this situation. You know, I open the doors of this situation for you to walk in and help me. And that's something that we really need to do. And they really just kind of showed me, like, a door. And then the door's just, like, wide open. And just angels just rushing in. Because the angels are outside of the door of your situation. So if you think of your situation as a building, and the doors are, like, barred shut and the angels can't get through, you have to open the doors to your situation to allow the angels to come in. So it's going to be a really, really great week. Um... Just remember, keep keep going, keep doing what you're doing, keep pushing because it's going to happen. You know, don't push too hard. Don't try to force things to happen. But just keep up with your visualizations and realize that things are going to happen in divine timing. So don't do a visualization and be like, where is it? You know, do a visualization and realize that I'm, I'm one step closer to getting what I want or to getting what I need. In the middle of the week is when things start coming our way. Is when things start in all areas of our life kind of coming together and fitting. And the end of the week is talking about we really need to take a time to take care of our higher self and our psychic self. So I really hope that this reading helps you guys. If you want to purchase this deck, which I highly suggest you do, because it's one of the best decks I think I've ever gotten, um, I will include the link for that in my video on YouTube, on Amazon. So, I hope you guys are having a great evening, morning, noon, or night. Um, I will post the card of the day, which will be from the Isis deck, as well as the angel numbers for the day. Um, I'll try to get it done as soon as possible, but I do have to work today. So, um, I'll get it there when I can. This is also Friday, November 7th. I am recording this a little bit earlier, just because I am kind of working crazy. Um, and I want to be sure that you guys get this video. So, um, I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you later.